you know, we've got a, we've got a great team of animators and creature people um, at ILM. Uh, and on this film, we were lucky in that we had some good stunt, stunt performers uh, too. So for a lot of the, most of the scenes, like Black Panther being an all digital character, we had a, a stunt performer in there um, when we were shooting the scenes. And a lot of our, um, and the same is true of Spider-Man, um, you know, so a lot of the performance starts there uh, where we shot um, reference cameras and we can go in and in layout we can match -a the the stunt persons and then uh, animation can then go in and fine tune that with keyframing. Uh, in the case of Spider-Man, there was much more uh, keyframing there just because uh, the nature of the character being, um, you know, this, they really wanted him to be this 19 year old kid who's just discovering his powers and he's not, or his abilities and he's not, you know, never hitting a pose perfectly. You know, we went and looked at the classic, classic, um, Spider-Man artwork and comic art and, and wanting to hit those key spider, Spidey poses, but also at the same time, we'd only hit it for a few frames and then you'd go back to being slightly off balance or not quite perfect or trying to, and we, you know, trying to, um, to keep that, you know, realistic feel in the anim. Um, but all, you know, we, we looked at a lot of for Spider-Man, for example, we looked at a lot of Tom Holland. He's got a bunch of videos online. He's a pretty, you know, agile uh, guy. He can do, you know, side flips and, and back flips. And so we looked at a lot of that, lots of reference, you know, and as much as we could try to shoot our own video reference in the, in the scenes. Um, and it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's taking all of those pieces, you know, using as much of the actual performance as we can and then augmenting that with keyframe to, you know, we also have some tools in place uh, that allow us to sort of do a, a physics check on the mass and arcs of swings and um, so that that's a tool that animators have to help with that. It's just, you know, and then, and then a lot of times it just comes into, comes down to just looking at stuff on the on the screen and and uh you know just talking about hey, does that look right does that does this is like a little funny there oh yeah maybe it does. you know and just kind of getting everyone in a room and um and talking about it but uh at the end of the day it just comes down to the talent of the animators and, and the performance that's that's given on the day so when we started civil war we thought okay we're going to be able to reuse ant-man and falcon there were trying to think of the so Ant-Man and Falcon we thought we would be able to reuse from uh, from the Ant-Man movie okay. uh, and then Iron Man we knew his suit would change um, it's interesting even even Cap his his uh, costume changes I mean one thing that Marvel does is it lets the directors sort of you know um, put put a little bit of their stamp on things so so the, the costumes are changing so at the end of the day uh, the Ant-Man costume was a complete redesign and Falcon was his, a minor minor redesign like a lot of the, the fabric got darker and there's a few minor details on like boots that changed and the wings the wings actually changed as well because we had done the wings for um, we did the original Falcon for Winter Soldier and then he appeared in Ant-Man so we did a wing redesign in Ant-Man and then we thought we'd be able to get away with the same wings again in Civil War, but then they slightly changed again. So we always go into it thinking, all right, we're going to be able to reuse that rig. And, and you know, like rigging Falcon's wings are a good example where that was a pretty complex rig um, to get the wings to fold up into the pack. We, and so we tried as hard as we could to, to maintain that, that rig, and I think we were able, in the end, we were able to reuse a good portion of it. Um, you know, there's always, there's some bigger changes, some subtle changes, you know, and that's just, that's in the design of the characters. Then in terms of the, in terms of our systems, you know, our, our muscle system and rigging system is continuing to get better and better and better um, as we go. So, you know, sometimes it, it, we look at things and say, okay, okay, we can, we can use what we had, but we've got something over here that's, that's better like what's the 
how painful is it going to be? Because I'm always, I'm always like, yeah, let's use the latest and greatest thing. Let's let's. So that's what we, you know, we try to, but at the same time, you know, being on fixed time and, and um, you know, we just we generally try to do what's best for the show. Um, you know, renders are con can be constantly changing. Uh, there's there's always you know there's there's always things are constantly getting better and better and, and you always want to use the new tools and the best technology so that's what we're trying to do um, at the same time you've got to at a certain point you have to say okay this is you know this is this is what we're going to do to this is what we're going to use to get the movie done because you can't always be chasing the next the next tech and it you know it changes from show to show that's one of the great things. You know, one of the, the fun things about the job is you can say, okay, well, all right, we can't use that tech now, but on the next one, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna take that and we're gonna, you know, always trying to one up what what the last thing you did. One of those things too, where tools are always uh, um, changing, or you're coming up with tools as you go. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we had a, had something to do this? Oh yeah, well, you know, like one of the things I didn't even we had a whole, you know. For his webs firing, that was another big development project that we did. Um, but uh, you know, effects, sims, all that stuff constantly gets better. But it's just uh, you know, constantly changing. Uh, it's been good. I you know, day this is day one. I got in at midnight, but it's great. I mean, it's a great conference. It's a, you know, pretty seems like it's a pretty small uh, small group. I haven't had a chance to. Explore the city, but um, saw a couple great talks, so I look forward to seeing some more.